salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video is was very requested after I told you guys about my entire collection uh, but a few weeks ago maybe about a month ago I did a video where I explained um, how many fragrances at the time I had in my collection and what its value was if you were to purchase everything brand new full price now since then my collection has grown about 50 bottles so then it was like 585 now I'm in the 600 range but I didn't want it to be a long video I wanted to be very information based a lot of you guys asked where are the bottles we want to see your collection we just don't want to hear about it so Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my fragrance cabinets and share with you guys my entire collection. Now a few things, um, I'm going to be showing you guys it. I don't really have a good tripod or anything like that so I'm going to be holding my camera aka my phone. So this video might be a little shaky, I'm very sorry, I just want to warn you guys now. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm not going to do any crazy amount of post editing, so the sound might be eh. The quality of this video isn't really going to be superb, but it is more about just showing you guys. Now the other thing too is, I just recently moved up here about six months ago, which might seem like a long time, but I've been working full time and I haven't had enough time to really invest in getting this room set up the way that I wanted to, so I am reusing old bookshelves and old fragrance cabinets. So they don't really look very cohesive. <laughs> so it's not like an impressive setup. Um, they definitely this match. You can see I have a white one right here, and then I have this one, and then that one, and then one on top of it. They're all different colors, different sizes, different shapes. So it's not very aesthetically pleasing. So just please be very tender with me in regards to that. The other thing too is this room is my filming room but uh, for the most part, this is a very cool, dark room. Um, if you guys want me to talk about the lifespan of fragrances, how long fragrance lasts, um, how to store fragrances, things like that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to do a little video like that. But for the most part, um, let's get into it. Let's stop talking, that's not why you guys are here. Let's get into the video. First cabinet I'm gonna start off with is my middle one and it's what I would consider my fun one. This is the one that houses uh, most of my more valuable fragrances. Um, so yeah, I'll start from the bottom just because it's a little bit easier. This is kind of like my catch-all area. So I have my Versace fragrances, my Saint Laurent, my Bordeaux. This is where I'm keeping my Terry Mugler. As you guys see, I don't know if you guys remembered or watched my haul video, I finally decided to um, try Angel again. So it's sitting in the back there, we'll see how that goes. And then those are all of my Elizabeth Arden green tea fragrances. If you guys don't know, I collect them and I love this them. Level, I'm not sure where things are gonna go, but for now it's housing my Guerlain, uh, my Penhowigans, and some of my other scents as Panalendon. I want to get risers in the back of here and make this look nice, but for the most part, this is what it is. I do put the ones I wear the most. Um, this is one I picked up more recently, Vara. It's gorgeous, love it been wearing a lot of Pythoni recently because it's been cold and the Bewitching Yasmin. So these are the three that I've been wearing a lot of. My most favorite though, um, and I know I've talked to you guys about this, is the remarkable um, success of Mr. Herod. This is a Herod's exclusive. I had a friend who lived in London and when she came to the States I bought a bottle and I'm like, can you please ferry it over? So it is harder to get if you live in the States but it is such a beautiful fragrance. The ones I have are the Gardenia, I wear a lot of, and I wear a lot of Agarbafi as well. I think I mispronounced that. But the ones up front are the ones I wear the most. Over here are my Guerlain fragrances, and I do have a lot, but not a lot of the super um, rare ones. I really love the Aqua Allegoria line. I've been wearing a lot of Herba Fresca. Um, just around the house. It's been really nice. It was one I could wear when my dad was staying here because it didn't bother him too much. So I wore a lot of this. This is probably one of the more challenging fragrances from Guerlain. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I absolutely love Centaur Royale. I wear this a lot. And then my unicorn <laughs> is Iris Ganache right here. I'm very minimal with wearing this because I don't know if I'll ever be able to get another bottle of it. I have been toying around with trying to get a 
um, iris ganache and the B bottle and like kind of maybe doing a video on the difference of the two formulations but I'm just happy to at least have it in my collection and then over here obviously we have the uh, one of my most favorite fragrances is the terracotta le parfum this one is beautiful and it just smells so so good then I have some other fragrances, SP Parfums, the two Bulgari I currently have, my Pana London, and just a few extras over there. These are my Gallagher fragrances. I don't have too many, I only have five. Uh, Rosé All Day is still one of my best. I really love that one. <laughs> I also have Fine Apple, um, Mandarin, Silk I also have Fine Apple, then a few of the silks. I have Orange Blossom Silk, Mandarin Silk, and Jasmine Silk. They are really good. Uh, over here, I have my Etat Le Bread, the orange fragrances. I need to expand this collection a bit. Um, I've been wearing a lot of True Lust to work, and I love it. <laughs> I really like their all their fragrances. Uh, yes, I do. It's pretty good, too. I do like that one. So I love this line. They're very cheeky fragrances. They're definitely more avant-garde, but very wearable, and I just really appreciate the thought and attention that goes into everything with that line. Then these are my Chanel fragrances right here. I don't have too many, actually. Uh, one bottle you don't see, which I have it packaged up and hidden away, is the red bottle of Chanel number no. 5. I'm not taking that out. I'm keeping that for um, collection purposes. All safely tucked away. These are the I Don't Have Chance Tender. I need to pick that up. But these are the chance bottles I have. I don't have the big ones of them just because I don't wear them enough. And sometimes I'm like, I'll get the big bottle. But for these, I just wear the small ones. Then I have Gabrielle Essence. This is the new flanker in Gabrielle. I had sold Gabrielle and I actually missed it, so I repurchased it. And then I have Coco Mademoiselle. This is the intense version. Then Coco Mademoiselle. And then Chanel number no. five. And then Lou behind that. And I need to get the other one. I also want to get the Eau de Toilette versions of these, not just the Eau de Parfums. I really want to have a very um, substantial Chanel collection. It's something that I'm kind of working on. And then in the back, I have my less exclusive. So I have Gardenia, Belle Respiro. Jersey, Sycamore, obviously, and number 18. All of these, except for number 18, are the Eau de Toilettes. Um, number 18 is Eau de Parfum. And I've actually been toying around with the idea of buying Sycamore as an Eau de Parfum, as well as Cormandal and Mizia. Now, Mizia, as an Eau de Toilette, I like a lot better, uh, but the Eau de Parfum is really nice as well. Over here are just some little... Um, just a little area. So I have my Initio, so I have High Frequency, Rehab, and Eve for Greatness. This one is amazing. They're all amazing. I really love them all. In the back, I kind of pared down my By Killian collection just, just to the two I wear the most, which is Imperial Tea and Bamboo Harmony. I have my very tiny Tom Ford collection, and in the back, my even tinier Parfums de Marley. But in any case, that's this level. This level up here is just right now, I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. These are my creeds. Uh, I don't have too many. Um, I love this line. It doesn't have a lot of staying power, but I don't mind. Um, I think only one of these was given to me to review, which was this guy and was given to me by Max Aroma. Like else I either purchased, swapped for, or was a gift. Um, these guys right here, I am like obsessed. I need to get more of these guys. I am obsessed with the atomizers. I want to find the old ones where the Creed logo was multicolored. So if you guys know where I could find one of those, please let me know. But in here I have Jardin Amalfi, Spice and Wood, and White Flowers. Over here is my tiny Clive Christian collection and also my itty bitty Zerjeff collection. I did have more Clive. I did sell it again. I just kind of sold the ones I wasn't wearing too much, um, but I might repurchase them. I have a tendency to do that. Over here is my Aqua de Parma. Um, I have a lot of the blue Mediterranean line just because I'm absolutely enraptured with it. And this one right here, which is their um, Note de Colonia. Two, one of the best vetiver scents ever. If you are in love with vetiver and you want something really vetiver dominant, oh my gosh, pick that up. It's amazing. This is my itty bitty little Byredo collection. Um, this one, a lot of people don't talk about. It is so good. It's so good. This is Eric Buterbaugh, Fragile Violet. In the back is some Ormond Jane and some Min New York. And then these 
are my Jo Malone fragrances, which I absolutely love. Um, most of the Jo Malone fragrances actually turn sour on my skin, but if they don't turn sour, I purchase them because I do really like the line. So ones that I wish I could wear um, is Grapefruit, and there was another one I can't forget that I keep trying to make it work and it doesn't. This one right here was the bespoke fragrance that I commissioned from Dominique de Brana, and I did a whole video on that. And this is such a beautiful scent and I wear it and it's so gorgeous and it was so worth the money. This is one of my most expensive bottles of perfume. I think this one cost me close to $600 to um, pay for because we used my sore sandalwood in there and a lot of other nice ingredients. I completely purchased that on my own. I just said I paid for it and I was like, I'm so excited to talk about this experience, but just let it be known, I paid for this full price. And I don't even think he knows who I am. I'm not anybody anyway. <laughs> but um, some people were like, oh yeah, the perks of YouTube. I'm like, no, I paid for that. That that money left my bank account full price, almost $600 for that. And it was worth every single These penny. next two shelves are where I house like my beloved fragrances. So Tempie Passate from Antonius Flowers. I'm trying desperately to track down a um, backup bottle of this. I absolutely in love with it. I have all of my Armani Privé, which is my favorite um, designer line. My Lilabo, I don't have many Lilabo, but I love them. My Raja fragrances, purchased all of these. One was a gift from a friend, but love this line. This one here, Kingdom of Bahrain, like probably my favorite Raja. And then my second favorite would be Amber Oud. Over here are my House of Matriarch fragrances. <laughs> I pretty much purchased them all and I definitely take advantage of her amazing, and I mean amazing, um, discounts and coupons that she does. This is an anointing oil that was, I'm just, that's a whole other story. I will start crying if I think about it. That's the artwork I did for She, which is the fragrance that she, um, created, inspired by me, which I worked on with her, and I'm just still blown away and completely enraptured and in love with that. Over here is obviously my Francis Kurjan collection, and I love it. I need to get um, more of a display for this shelf, because the shelf is probably my favorite shelf. Above it is my second favorite shelf. Here are my zoologist fragrances, and currently on its way to me getting delivered tomorrow, are the last four. So starting tomorrow, I will have the entire zoologist collection. And if you are wondering, at bottom, I love these scents. I love Victor's vision. I love supporting this line. This is my Maison Lancome. I don't have as many as I want. I want them all, but I do love them so much. This is a very close second favorite um, designer house uh, line. Just absolutely breathtaking fragrances. And those are just the rest of my Lancome's. Next area is this shelf. And then I'll go down the bottom. These are two new ones I bought. I'm actually trying to just get all the fragrances from the Philosophy line because I want to do a review on all of them. So that's Ballet Rose and Magnolia, which I just purchased to add to my collection. So this is actually where I put my new bottles until I film the haul video. So if you ever like see videos in the background and you see bottles there, they are new. Still trying to figure out what to do with my minis. I don't have too many minis because I used to like decant them and now I'm horrified that I did that. But these are my minis right now. Over here, these are my Chloe fragrances. I don't have too many, but I've been just in love with them. Over here are my Lolita Lempica collections, my Cicely Izia, which I love. And then my Lolia, these are so beautiful. They're just so ultra feminine and just so pretty and whimsical. If you wanna smell like a fairy princess, but in a beautiful, gorgeous way, like you can't go wrong with Lolia scents. Next up are my La Ossetan fragrances and La Ossetan has a horrible habit of discontinuing things. Let me just, I will do an entire video ranting about that. I've filmed it before, but it was way too negative. This is Honey Lemon. Um, I have one full bottle and one of you guys was so generous and sent me another bottle, so I have two. Then this is the Peach Blossom and in the back I have the Jasmine and Vert. These right here are January Scent Project. These I need to review. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Love them. 
These are the full bottles I have of Sydney's Labs. I purchased all of them. It is my favorite indie house. These two in the front are my absolute favorite. Forgive Not Forget is gorgeous. And you see Absinthe 9 on so many of my videos. That is because I am so in love with this scent. You guys have no idea. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so enraptured with that fragrance. Next up are my 4162 Stays London um, fragrances. This is Tiger Tiger. Um, I so I can't even put into words how much this fragrance means to me, supporting that cause, getting to work with Sarah. Um, I will have an update on how much was donated, the whole process, um, but because of the move and because of my dad's cancer and I lost some footage, um, the video is not gonna be as all encompassing as I want it to be, but but it is a video that I kind of want to take you on the end of the journey and kind of recollect the entire experience um, and tell you how much is donated and a little bit more about the charity because I do really love it. So, uh, but this fragrance is still one of my favorites. Some people absolutely loved it. Some people absolutely hated it. It was not in any way, shape or form designed to be a crowd pleasing scent. It was a scent that in my head, I just love the idea of this dirty jasmine, this really strong citrus and leather. And it's everything I wanted it to be, but it's not for everyone. And if you got it and you loved it amazing, and if you got it and you hated it, that's fine too. I'm in love with it. The entire experience was amazing and I could just go on and on and on and on and on. These are my Perfumology fragrances and love them. Oh my goodness, I need to review Lima for you guys. That's coming up soon. These are my Clinique My Happy Scents. They're just standing in a row right now. And then these are my Tokyo Milk This ones. is my Hermes fragrances. Uh, and then my Gorilla Perfumes, my Raw Spirit, and then just some random niche fragrances that I love. Cabinet right here houses a lot of my favorite ones and is also a catch-all too. So up here, I have my Histories de Parfums. I don't know if you can see it back there. And then I have my Victor and Wolf Flower Bomb and Flower Bomb Explosion. Over here, I have a lot of different ones. I love them so much. This one I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. So good. It's just, it's so unique. Like it's, I'm, just, I'm gonna get into that one. I'm, I have plans for that one. This is another one that I'm so in love with. This is the only fragrance I own from Kerosene and I bought the bottle that had the artwork on it because I'm so into that. And um, absolutely in love with it. It's so good. Then I have my Mika Left fragrances and in the back my Memo Paris and my Amy Shane. My Harmonist fragrances, which I love, and then my Amouage. Right here are my Aaron scents and just some other niche and designer fragrances that I love. My um, my imaginary authors, Slow Explosions. Sun Drunk has become, I think this is Sun Drunk. No, the one behind it. This is Yesterday Haze. This one right here, as I knock things over. Hello, friends. Uh, this one has become my favorite. I really, really love it. I love the rhubarb in this. Um, the Neroli Honeysuckle Rose Water. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. They're all really good though. I'm a huge fan. And then these are my Serge Luthans and my Galavant. This fragrance, oh my goodness. This fragrance, if I think about it, I will cry. I need to get a new bottle of this so bad. A backup bottle. This smells like my sister when she was a kid. It smells... Um, powdery and like rose and like baby wipes and that might not sound like what it would smell like because of the name but this brings back so many positive memories like I will cry I'm practically tearing up thinking about it love this scent I need a, at least two backups of that then I have my Miller Harris my um, Bottega Veneta which is this is one of my top 10 fragrances ever so good just some other random ones in the back and then my itty bitty bond collection. It's so little. It's only like five bottles. It's so teeny. This one I'm gonna review for you too. That one's kind of an interesting Down here. Um, these are the ones I bought. They're the um from Cosmopolitan. They released uh four fragrances. They called Eau de Juice because the fragrance community calls perfume juice. Um, in theory, these fragrances are really interesting. Uh, Price-wise, they're $55 each. 
They are not bad fragrances by any mean. Let me just throw that out there, but they are very basic fragrances. So if you're looking for a gift for a teenager, if you love fragrances that are kind of crowd pleasing and easy and not too complicated, like these are great scents. This one right here in my mind is the best. Love it actually a lot. I wear that one a lot. Then I have the Belayered fragrances. I have the Michelle Germain fragrances. Back there you can see the Perry Ellis Oud. Some of the best fragrances for the price, like they are astounding. Then I have my Too Late Too Love from Maja Bacali. This house, this house, this house. I am planning a huge video talking about this house. It will take me some time. It'll probably be closer to summer. Whenever I do videos like that, I just, I need time to kind of develop everything. Like, believe it or not, I, I try to put a little bit of effort into my videos. This house right here is everything I want a fragrance house to be. Like, I will get into that so hardcore. Um, then I have my La Vanilla, and then in the back I just have some various designer fragrances. This one right here from the Fragrance Engineers. This is a really pretty scent. I really like this one. Stash, which is still one of the best celebrity scents ever created. And my Demeter. In the back is my Michael Kors Sky Blossom. I really love that fragrance. Here is more of a cash all, not because these fragrances are bad, but just because I don't quite know where to put them. Um, I do have some fragrances back here, which are just like given to me, like my mom will have something, it's just like, here, you want it? And so that's what kind of this area is. And then my Dara Glam, that one's Silent Streets out front because I wear that a lot. My Toka fragrances, um, and then my Paris Hilton Passport. That one is so good, I love it. This one right here, this one is so good. Like, like look at how much I've worn, it's so good. Like, if you live in humid and you want, like, a really nice, beautiful scent to wear in, like, humid and humid climates, oh my gosh, this so one's this amazing. This cabinet used to house all my really nice fragrances, but now it's just kind of a catch-all because it's in the corner. Up here, I just put whatever. Which I really like these fragrances. I wear, look at, I wore a lot of violet, actually. I wear that one a lot. That's just something I got from Tatcha. It's a casual and cleansing brush. I don't know where I'm putting that. Down here is just a catch-all of everything. So I have my Pacifica fragrances, my Philosophy fragrances, some designer fragrances, some niche fragrances, all my Gucci fragrances. I don't know why I have them shoved in this corner, but I'm gonna find a nicer spot for them. This is the new one. I'm going to be reviewing that. Memoir d'une odeur. I have some people hate that. I freaking love it. It's so good. Obviously, Le Mans. The um, Calvin Klein. This one from Ralph Lauren is absolutely amazing. I still need to review that for you guys. And I want to review this line for you guys. So I need to purchase some more of those so I can give you kind of a full idea of what I think. Last but not least down here are my hair oils, my body mists, just kind of all that stuff. I'm going to the gas station. I'll wear this and just some of my body lotions. These are some, not all, of my decants and my travel atomizers and stuff like that. Like quite literally, this is like a fifth of my collection. The other ones are still so anyway, guys, that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know, again, it was really shaky, but it's just kind of giving you a full idea of my collection. When I finally get around to getting proper cabinets and this room properly set up, I'll give you guys like a studio tour if you guys would like that. But right now this room is where my makeup is, it's where my fragrances are, and it's where my cute computer is for editing and video games. So it's kind of a mess right now. But once I get everything set up and properly uh, fixed up, if you guys would like a tour, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for suffering through the horrible audio and video quality. And I hope you enjoyed this video. In any case, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I have new videos up. And I will see you guys all next time.